sleigh bells ring. Are you listening in the lanes? Yeah, snow is not glistening. Silly me today. This is the Eve before Christmas Eve. <laughs> and it's late. I was up all night. And uh, slept in this morning. I was trying to get to where I might be in a better lot. I don't know. I'm not even going anywhere. I just kind of cleaned up to uh, feel better. We've got a sick one here at the house. Christmas, the eve before Christmas Eve, we were supposed to go to Michelle's Christmas Eve. He's running a fever and uh, can't take a chance on anyone getting sick. And like I say, you have to kind of go with the flow. Did I say I wasn't stressed for Christmas itself? <laughs> I do get stressed when he's sick. When Eli's sick, I get stressed. But, I thought I'd show you. I've got his uh, kit ready. And I had to order some of these on Amazon. I actually got these at Walmart last year, I think. Walmart, I mean, <laughs> Tylenol dissolve packs. He does not do pills well. So, uh, I had Kenny pick up, a, this is a Walmart haul. <laughs> I had Kenny pick up a Walmart haul yesterday. Very few items because I thought I was going to need part of them. And now I'm not going to need them till maybe next week. We're postponing. Not Michelle's not postponing Christmas Eve for the rest of them. But we're not going until Eli gets to feeling better. Yeah. I said at least we can FaceTime. <laughs> not the same. But anyway, he's taking that. Got him some cough drops. Got him some tests and cough and chest congestion because that's what he has. He's getting tired of me checking his temp. And I've got some uh, Dollar Tree Electrolyte, like Pedialyte. And all this is in this tray because if I don't put it in the tray, guess what? I lose it. I'll say, where's your thermometer? Where's your cough drops? You know, so this little tray from the Dollar Tree is coming in handy. It's my sick tray. But I did say this was a Walmart haul, didn't I? On the eve to Christmas Eve. <laughs> I didn't even think I was going to get it done. Actually, I was going to uh, share another video that Omi and I had made a while back. But I think I'll wait and share it later since I'm here now. I Like I said, I had Kenny do a pickup order. Because I didn't need much, and I've not really been grocery shopping uh, in December, just kind of filling in a little bit of what I needed. Well, Eli asked from Black Forest asked for Black Forest ham, so um, I got a pound of it. Pound of it. Yeah, we were supposed to have ham sliders at Michelle's tomorrow. <laughs> we might have grilled ham sandwiches here because I don't have the slider buns. I have uh, regular bread. Yeah. But we can still have some sliders. I could make gigantic sliders with the buns I bought. Bought some Walmart buns because I needed them. One more loaf of bread just to make sure I don't run out. Good thing I did because Maybe having some grilled cheese and ham sandwiches. Never know. And uh, I ordered my regular coleslaw mix because I had to have a little bit of something and I've not been ordering the salad mix. I've been quite happy with just the coleslaw mix. Kenny won't eat salad here. Eli definitely doesn't. So they shared with me the 16 ounce tri-color coleslaw mix and it's good so I know I'll be making some coleslaw I was actually gonna make some pasta salad for tomorrow and I had a couple of desserts to do well Eli's not 
feeling his best as far as eating right now. So I think for Christmas Eve, we're gonna keep it simple and we'll wait and see how Christmas Day goes. Omi always said, well, as long as we have our coffee and a, have our coffee and a bologna sandwich, she'd be happy for the holidays. Well, she'd be happy to know. <laughs> if she was here, we'd probably be eating bologna sandwiches. I bought a pound of the Oscar Mayer bologna for sandwiches. One thing, it's a given when I go to Walmart or to any grocery store, a pickup item, even if I go to our uh, local Dollar General Market, is bananas. So I bought a dozen of them because I was supposed to be making a dessert. <laughs> I probably will make that one whether we leave here or not because that's a favorite around here. And I may save the better, not the better desserts, the different desserts from when we get to go eat at uh, Michelle's. Not sure about Christmas Day yet for Omi's. We don't want to get her sick. Hopefully, we've tried to stay up well enough to where we won't get sick. And I, and I feel bad that Eli's sick. But he's taking it in stride. He's doing really well. So anyway, bananas. One time I could go into the Walmart and not buy cherry pies. Yeah. Kenny said, honey, I don't think I'm going to get cherry pies anymore. Just don't get me any this week. And I didn't until he kept asking me, you got any cherry pies in the freezer? <laughs> and I didn't. So, again, I had to give him some cherry pies. And they went up to 84 cents. He's going to have to get used to what I make with cherries. 84 cents. And they used to be 50 cents. Still cheaper than Kroger's, I know, because Kroger's and I think Food City both are way over a dollar. But I got some of those. Talking about desserts. Yeah. And I meant to ask Michelle when I talked to her earlier which flavor she was talking about because I told her I thought some of them sounded like the yellow cake mix. So I bought a Deck and Heinz Butter Golden. And I bought a Pillsbury Golden Butter. Butter Golden and Golden Butter. I wonder which one's going to taste better. <laughs> Might have to do a taste test. I just thought I'd get both of them since we were talking about it. Uh... I know they got the yellow cake mix, the white cake mix, and uh, golden butter or butter golden, and it seems like she mentioned another one that kind of reminded me of these, but I don't know. And I see where they have what they call French vanilla. I love French vanilla. I don't know about you all. A lot of times, even in my puddings, I'll, I mean, in my desserts, I'll use French vanilla pudding because it's a little bit richer. So I got one of those. And that'll probably go in stock. Stockpile. Because um, I don't need it right now. But I thought while I see it, I better get it. And I bought two. And this is just add water. I bought two angel food cake mixes. and I, Because I have one here. And I'm fixing to use it in a dessert. Might make that for Christmas. I don't know. Christmas Eve. Might make that for tomorrow. Who knows? But anyway, I was actually going to make one of these desserts to take somewhere with me, but tomorrow we're not going. Don't know about Christmas yet. Might save them all, depending on what the boys tell me. I think I need to make them at least one. Probably out of these. But um, I only had a funny story. She didn't know why her cake meant why her cake didn't turn out. She made a cake like I did with pie filling and cake mix. She forgot it had to be angel food cake for that particular one. And I'm sure she'll tell you that story uh, when she gets back, when she plans on coming back. Who knows, I might get to see her before she comes back, I hope. What else did I get? <laughs> oh me, I think I mentioned in a video that she was doing a Ornament, ornament exchange last week. 
and uh, she showed me this. I looked out and they had one at my Walmart. Just one. I ordered, they first had two, but by the time they got around to my order or I placed it, they only had one. Look at that. Reminds me of when I carried Mel, but this is so cute. And I only got the one. They substituted for another ornament. They must know I like candy canes on my tree. But this was a candy cane wreath. And it looks, it really does look like real candy. And I'll hang on to this one. It's cute. It wouldn't have been something I would have picked out. But they're cute together, aren't they? I need to get it on the tree, don't I? So I got those, and they were both, I think, $1.96 a piece. I only bought two other ornaments that I can remember, and that, I think, was from the Dollar General store that were metal-type ornaments. Then on a decluttering, I would say rampage, but I'm a little slow at that. <laughs> But my husband's already made two trips out of here with stuff I've either thrown out, donated, you know, yeah, either trash or donation, and he got it out of here. He actually went this morning and uh, some stuff that I had done last night because I was up all night, I thought, in between being tired. <laughs> I could get up and see if I could fill a bag of something up or put it where it might go. Nowhere near organized yet. That'll be for the new year now. <laughs> I feel better about it. You know, I got started. I reached my goal. That's a good thing. My goal may seem, uh, what do you call it? A little on the slow side. But guess what? <laughs> it's took me ever since I got, well, yeah, ever since I got sick in 2012, I still did pretty good 2013, but when 2014 hit and I got really, really sick and had to leave work, I got pretty bad around here too. Just in the middle, tossing stuff in a room, shutting the door. Uh, I still have trouble like bending. I don't like to climb and we have some pretty high ceilings over here, so Michelle's offered to come help me one day, and I may actually get her to, because I can't tell you when the last time any of that up there was dusted, and that couldn't be too good for us, could it? But I try to do everything that I can on my own, and if uh, I know Michelle, or Heather, Tammy, anybody would be willing to help me, but they got their own lives. <laughs> They're trying to keep up with their stuff. That's what I tell Tammy. It's hard to keep up with everything. And then, you know, no, I don't want that. But I'm getting there. My husband says I'm doing good. <laughs> and he's helping. And Eli's helping. So that's a good thing. What else? Wasn't going to the Dollar Tree. But we needed some plain bagels for Eli, and it's a good thing now that I got them because he's actually ate one of them. He's not got much of an appetite. Well, I should say half of one. I actually ate the other half. And they're the pre-sliced plain bagels. Good till 1-1 uh, one, one to 24. They'll be gone before then, and they're six, 20 ounces. And they toast up really good in the toaster. And since I knew I was going to be using my cream cheese, I thought, if I make a dessert with cream cheese, I might need more. Well, I ordered the Great Value. They were out of it. They substituted it for Philadelphia. Did you know this is almost, for two packs, I think almost $1.70 more than Great Value. I didn't catch it. I know that you can go in... And if they're going to do a substitution when you're picking it up, you can actually reject the substitution. But it was too late for me to put it in there. Uh, I didn't want to bother Kenny with it because he was nice enough to go pick it up for me. And uh, I bet the bullet on it. But it's worth it because 
uh, cream cheese is something we eat quite a bit here. I like it on toast with jelly, too, if I don't have bagels. But I wanted some for a dessert in case I made it. I got a lot of desserts in my head. How many I make, I don't know. But anyway, that and that. Two packs of strawberry cool. Ooh, cherry Kool-Aid. I thought I ordered strawberry, did they? I was pretty sure I ordered strawberry Kool-Aid. I had a reason for the strawberry, because I never bought. Oh, I think I know, I think I know why. I think I did order these. <laughs> I think there's something else that tells me why I didn't order the strawberry. But two, these are for dessert too. Two cherry Kool-Aids. And now that I remember why I didn't order the strawberry Kool-Aid is because I ordered, and it says two times more than our one fluid ounce, I ordered McCormick strawberry extract. Cause I'm pretty sure a dessert I'm gonna make for Omi, it's gonna take a little bit more flavoring. And she told me when we were growing up, she actually used strawberry extract. If you've watched any of my hauls, I had bought some banana. What else did I buy? Butter. I already have orange, almond, and I don't vanilla, of course. So I thought I'd get one of these to work on my dessert. Yeah. Sometime this week or next week. <laughs> like I said, uh Holidays are a good time for family and friends to get together, especially if they're out of town, they can't make it in, and uh, that wasn't the case this year with us. Uh, my brothers, both of them, aren't going to be able to make it in. Both have issues, and keep them in your prayers going on in their families right now. Um uh, I don't feel like I'm at liberty to talk about them because I've not asked. You know what I'm saying? Certain things I can say here and I feel good about it, but people's personal stuff, unless they tell me, I don't. But they, neither one of them could be up here. Um, so if we do make it to my mom's, of course, we still have a lot of family gonna be there. <laughs> and family that's going to be at Michelle's, but we're also going to be missing family, family that's passed, and, uh, yeah, and that makes it hard. This past year has been a hard year. Uh, I've got family that's lost spouses, I've got, and I, by family, I mean friends and family, because they're my family. Uh, health issues. Yeah. So, at least um, I'm still up and kicking. Whether I will be tomorrow <laughs> depends on if he passes it on to me. And if he does, we're prepared. I'll just have to get another one of these ready for me, won't I? But hopefully that won't happen. And hopefully... He'll have a good Christmas Eve here. And we're talking about maybe taking them riding around to look at the lights tomorrow night. And if we do, I may film part of it because we won't be around anybody. We'll just be in the car. And uh, he's talking about watching a Grinch. He never wants to watch a movie with me. And I said, Eli, we need to do something together. And he said, well, Mama, we can watch The Grinch. And I said, okay, we'll watch The Grinch because I've never watched it. Sherry, don't whip me. Sherry loves The Grinch. Don't whip me, Sherry. I don't watch The Grinch. <laughs> but I'll watch it with Eli. Um, yeah, this is a small haul, but a mighty one to me. It's mainly stuff that I was going to use for the next couple of days that they'll keep till I can use them, right? I hope you have a great Eve to your Christmas Eve. I hope you have a great Christmas Eve. Don't know what you'll see tomorrow night. I've got a couple of videos lined out that aren't holiday related. If I have to, I might use one of them or I might come back with a holiday video. 
I have no clue. I better go check on my boy. So thank you for watching. I hope y'all have a Merry Christmas Eve and a Merry Christmas. And we'll talk soon.